the new and improved um, fake NSX Honda Accord exhaust mod. <laughs> what is up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? As you can see, we have the good old Honda Accord on the left. And I'm going to tell you why we have the Honda Accord on the left. First and foremost, when it comes to my little Honda Accord, I don't know if you guys knew I owned this, but this is a, uh, a 1998 3.0 V6 engine, automatic transmission. You know how the transitions are in these things are kind of not fun. But I consider this my mini NSX. And the reason why is because of the taillights. The taillights on these things actually look like mini NSX's, you know what I mean? Um, which is, you know, pretty cool in my eyes. Uh, uh, they don't look exactly like them, but they are kind of like them with the way they are shaped uh, in the corners. And then they have the flat bar, you know, at the bottom here and stuff. But uh, I like this car. It's my little two-door coupe. This is my daily. I drive this thing around. So I know on this vehicle, Oh, first, you know, before we even get started, my uh, my CA Corvette video, I need you guys to do me a big, big favor. Comment down below, let me know if you would like me to make a video answering the comments in that video, that CA Corvette video. I think a lot of you guys didn't really understand why I made that video, and I, I think a lot of you uh, didn't really understand the purpose of that video. It wasn't to hate on the Corvette, it was just to talk about my opinions of the Corvette, but comment below. Let me know if you want a separate video of uh, basically reading the mean comments on uh, on that uh, that video. I think it'd be a funny, funny time. I got some pretty nasty comments on that one, and uh, I think it would make a great video. So like I said, comment below. So anyways, uh, if you guys don't watch me on Snapchat, uh, my Snapchat handle is Diablo Formula. Go over there and, and add me. Um, I was up in Massachusetts this past weekend, and with my kids and we went on this little vacation it was really really nice to be able to get away from the shop for a little bit other than just for like a day of hiking like we did before we actually went up there for four days uh, we went to boston um salem massachusetts and a whole bunch of other little places in between we had a great great time the kids had a great great time and we took the honda with its clogged cat um and the problem was it was getting some crazy gas mileage so on the way up there I filled up 93 octane on the way up there, and it's like 300 and some miles or something like that. It's a six hour drive, five and a half, six hour drive. And it was pulling 29 miles per gallon. And then we put about 300 plus miles on it, just driving around up there uh, between different you know, locations, uh, doing highway and street driving, and got an average of about 25 miles to the gallon, which wasn't too bad, but that's also with a clogged cat. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're taking that damn cat out, and we're gonna show you what it looks like, because I know it's destroyed um, but I want to start it up first and have you guys listen to what it sounds like with the clog cat on but let's see here Ugh, reach in there and oh my windshield wipers are on so that's what it sounds like with the clog cat stock exhaust system no mufflers just the, everything's stock on this car everything is stock so basically, we're gonna get the cat out and uh, we're gonna see if it makes a sound difference, which I think it might not, because basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a straight pipe in. So let's shut her off here. All right, hopefully you guys can see that cat right there. Basically what we're gonna do, you kinda can, you kinda can't. Um, we're gonna cut it right here. I don't know if you guys, let me get a flashlight. There we go. We're gonna cut it right here, and we're gonna cut it back here, like right about there, and we're gonna have a piece of pipe made. Um, I could probably, honestly, the thing is it curves, as you can see, it curves back. So I don't wanna really mess up the exhaust too much. So what I might end up doing is I'm gonna take this and just get a replica pipe made and, uh, and put it in. But we're gonna tap this thing, and I'll show you what it sounds like. Sounds pretty gnarly. You can hear it uh, breaking up inside here. Now you can't really hear it because of the, the hammer. Here we go. You hear it in there? Now there's a, like a rice burner outside. You hear it? So she's broke. She's definitely broken there. So we're going to cut her off and uh, let's see what the pieces look like here and uh, 
go from there. Should be pretty pretty uh, interesting. Then I got to find some way to trick the O2 sensor, and I think I know what I'm going to do with that too as well. So let's get this thing chopped off. I would definitely say we had a problem with the cat. Um, as you guys can see, we have all kinds of pieces falling out of this thing. Look at it, it's literally melted. That's crazy, look how melted it is. And these are big pieces too. <laughs> look at that, oh my God, this must have been restricting the hell out of this thing. Let's look inside, see if we can, uh... oh Lord, let's get it outside here a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's a clogged cat right there guys. I don't know if you can see it, but that thing is clogged. Oh my gosh. Man, you know what, with a straight pipe in here, this thing actually might get um, 45 miles a gallon. We've got pieces in here. <laughs> oh my God, there's another piece. Get it all out of there. That's freaking nuts, guys. That is nuts. Hopefully there's no more in there. Eh, a little bit. We'll get that out of there in due time. So obviously I do not recommend this for street use. This is for off-road use only. Off-road use only, guys. But uh, we're gonna be putting a straight pipe in here. We're gonna just put a straight pipe from here to here and that's it. So it's not gonna to be too difficult to do. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, and then we'll have a trigger for the O2. I'm actually gonna get a new O2 sensor and uh, we'll be modifying another piece to make that work as well. That way we don't have a check engine light on. But like I said, disclaimer, this is now gonna be my off-road fake NSX is what this is gonna be. So let's go get the pipe made and uh, stick it in. All right, we're back. Uh, car still in the lift which is also a very good thing to be honest um <laughs> but we went to an exhaust shop and we ended up having them modify and create a new pipe to go where the cat used to be and we got two band clamps as well here as well so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this pipe in they also welded in an o2 bung for me which is awesome band clamp and got these really neat USMC hopefully you can see that air fresheners a little tired walking up that hill So we have our pipe in, we got our band clamps on. I think it's holding good. Um, I will be putting a 90 degree because obviously I can't fit two uh, spark plug fowlers in here. So I gotta do a 90 degree, put the O2 sensor in this way. That way it fits between the body. I don't want to uh, hit or anything. And I'm still gonna get a new O2 sensor. So I'm still gonna have a code for the O2 sensor. But at least I have that crappy ass cat out of here for my off-road adventures. Let's take a look at the mufflers. Make sure everything lines up perfectly. Looks pretty good. Everything looks good. Doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be hitting anywhere. Everything looks nice and sturdy. I'm pretty happy. So let's start her up and uh, see what she sounds like. Hopefully she's not too loud. Uh, but uh, we'll see. No cat, catless exhaust, pretty much. Still have 
one resonator, two resonator, and two mufflers. So I'm not expecting it to be very, very loud, but I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit more grunt to it. So uh, let's let her down, see what she sounds like. We'll leave her on the lift here partially, just in case we have any exhaust leaks or anything that we need to take care of, but I doubt we're going to. I think, uh, I think everything should be okay. So here we go, guys. The new and improved um, fake NSX Honda Accord exhaust mod. <laughs> well, the first thing you heard, and I'm sure you guys heard that, was the rest of the pieces that were in the front of the exhaust, the cats that were broken out, the cat pieces. I could hear them rattling back through the uh, tubing. <laughs> It's probably back at the muffler now, just sitting there. There's only a few pieces, so I'm not too bad. It sounds a little bit louder, as you guys can see. Definitely a lot more responsive. Still doesn't sound too bad. Has a little bit of a grunt to it, but nothing crazy which I'm totally okay with. So when I get on this thing and I start like giving her the beans, um, she's gonna sound a little grunty, but not too bad. So let's get her off the lift and uh, let's go take her for a drive, see what she sounds like. All right, guys. So I can already tell on the drive that um, she has a little bit more spunk to her. Obviously getting that clogged cat out of the exhaust system, it helped a lot. Like I'm hardly pressing on the gas and I'm already going, you know, 40 miles an hour. I'm going the speed limit, by the way. Uh, it's 40 miles an hour, just so you know. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm, wow. It doesn't sound that bad either. Like it sounds like it has a little bit of an exhaust note to it, but it's not uh, anything crazy. It's not anything stupid. Like uh, you can kind of hear it. I don't know if you could hear it right there, but you can kind of hear it. And I have the windows closed and the AC is on as well. Um, but uh, she seems to obviously pick up a lot better. And that's obviously because we got that clogged cat out of there. Wow, she does feel so much better. That's that's nice. Definitely mission accomplished. Um, we are in Mexico right now, you know, because obviously right now I'm not a missions legal because I don't have a cat. So we are in Mexico. Um, Mexico just so happens to have an Applebee's, which I'm gonna go and uh, get some lunch at. Uh, but it made a nice little quick test drive. Um, the car is performing great <laughs> probably shouldn't do that in the parking lot of Mexico Applebee's but uh, the car is doing great guys I'm very very happy very very excited I'm very interested to see what kind of gas mileage this thing gets which I will be very sure to report back on you guys and uh, let you know what she gets I'm I'm hoping I don't know I'm hoping you know, she was getting 29 miles at a gallon all the way up in, uh, you know, to Boston on vacation here. So I'm kind of hoping that she will reach around 32, 33 miles per gallon um, on the highway. Probably closer to 20. She was doing 27 between highway and uh, street driving up in Massachusetts. So I'm hoping maybe to see 27, 28 miles per gallon. These things, I think they call for 22 in the city, 30 on the highway, but I'm, I'm hoping to get a little bit more than that. But uh, there you go, guys. Uh, simple little fix for a clogged cat. Um, I do still have to do the tricker for the O2, which I'll get to later. But uh, as for right now, the car's running great. We do have a check engine light on, obviously. And that is because of the... Uh, the uh, uh, O2 sensor we have an ABS light on too. I know what that's for. That's actually for uh, both my front um, wheel sensors, which I'll be taking care of here in a little bit anyways uh, later on. Trying to get all these lights off the dash. That way I can, you know, get this thing going and, and have some fun with it. It is a good little car. I do love this little Accord Coupe. It's freaking amazing. Um, I'm probably going to keep this thing for a while. If you guys remember, I had a uh, 99 GTP before. I treated it for this car and some cash on top from the other guy, and it worked out to be a very, very good deal. Uh, this is a little bit more sportier. It's a two-door. Rather have a four-door, but uh, maybe I'll lower this thing 
maybe put, put a coat air intake on it, something like that, I don't know. Other than that, guys, we're going to end this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Deuces, guys. I think that girl was looking at me weird.